Well, this is our lake house, which we bought a year and a half ago. And it's a gorgeous old property in Southern Ontario. And it was built about a hundred years ago. It's been owned by one family ever since. So virtually no changes to the original house. Maybe the addition of an electric stove. That's about it. And it was built as a one season cottage, which means no heating, no air conditioning, no insulation, no basement. So when we bought it, our goal was to preserve the beauty of it because it's a gorgeous old place designed by an architect, won all kinds of awards in its day. But we wanted to turn it into a four season, comfortable lake house with all the comforts that we are used to. So that was the challenge. So our goals for the project were to make it first and foremost comfortable, which meant controlling the temperature inside the house in both the winter and the summer months. So we had to come up with an insulation plan. That was probably the single most important thing and a heating and air conditioning plan. And we had a great HVAC engineer, which is actually how we found out about Rockwell because he knew about Rockwell's technical team and he knew about the properties of Rockwell products and also their advertisers at House and Homes. So we had that relationship. He suggested a, a pretty sophisticated heating and air conditioning plan. We knew that we wanted the exterior of the house to be completely reclad in this fabulous natural uh, cedar siding. And we knew we wanted to preserve the interior walls because they're beautiful, they're fur throughout. And we just wanted to preserve them and make them even better. So that meant that all the insulating had to be done from the outside. Remember, there's no basement also. And we wanted a new roof, which would be cedar. So we had some opportunity to get some insulation happening up top. And it was pretty complicated, but we used a combination of comfort board, we used comfort bat, and we used safe and sound because we were also concerned about sound. And you know, in these old cottages, there's nothing in the walls. They're just two wood walls on either side. The sound really travels, especially with no basement. So we hoped that we'd be able to control the sound transfer from room to room and also the sound from outside to inside the house. So since we were spending all this money putting in a new heating and air conditioning system into a house that had never had it, this was a really great opportunity to use a highly efficient system, which we did, and to be able to get excellent insulation, hoping that our fuel bills in the future would be less and our carbon emission um, impact would be lessened because we're certainly concerned about environmental issues and we managed to achieve all of that. So we wanted the house to look old but we wanted it to be updated. So I would call it a kind of modern country style. Kept the old stone terrace. We kept a footprint of the house. We moved walls inside to provide for more bathrooms because in those days, I think they had one or two for the whole house and 11 bedrooms. We don't need 11 bedrooms. I think we're down to six bedrooms and six bathrooms, which works out perfectly. Took down some walls inside to create some bigger spaces like the great room. And we changed all the windows. We kept the existing openings, but we changed the ratio of glass to wood. So you get more glazing, it lets in way more light. That all had an important impact on how we would heat the space and air conditioning it. Now when I say four season, I mean the summer times are hot up here, so the inside of the house is cool, the heat's kept out, and the cool is kept in. In the winter, it's really cold. It is Southern Ontario, but because of the lake effect, it's cold. And I know we were working to our 24 um, insulation was our, our goal, which is building code for this area. It's quite remarkable, really. I can turn off the heating and air conditioning before I go back to the city, which is what I usually do, save on energy use. And when I come back to use it on a weekend, it's almost the same temperature inside, so that's remarkable. So one of the old timers who works in the area told me about this huge fire that was spontaneous a few years ago in, in a house similar to ours that was all wood and you know, I got panicky. As it turned out, we did have to think about fire because we have a cedar roof and we have cedar exterior cladding and all the wood trim everywhere you see, including the windows. So we looked into it and our engineer and I think Rockwell's technical team and our contractor explained that the three kinds of insulation we were using are fire resistant. So in our quest to be environmentally responsible, we wanted to make sure that as much as possible, the products we used in our house were environmentally natural. 
And as it turns out, Rockwell is all made from ground stone. So that was a comfort. So when you're putting your wall assembly together, which shows all the different layers of insulation and exterior and interior cladding, you have to think about moisture. There's a certain way to construct that wall assembly so that moisture is kept to a minimum. Um, the walls actually breathe and there's no moisture coming into the house or staying in between the walls, which prevents rot. That's important. So here we are. It's the end of July. I have to say it's unseasonably chilly today. Normally it's very hot and I know that by next week it'll be hot again. And everyone who comes into our house remarks on how comfortable it is. The air conditioning and the heating are perfect. You can barely hear anything from room to room. The house is never humid. The air is always dry and comfortable. And I have to say, I'm sure that the Rockwell insulation has a lot to do with that. So we are really happy with the comfort level that we achieved at our house.